pasta salad is an easy, healthy, delicious dish that's perfect for barbecues, cookouts, picnics, and even your weekly meal prep. Mm, mm, mm. Plus, it's super versatile. You can make Italian pasta salad, orzo pasta salad, a creamy tuna pasta salad, all of which I've shown you before and will of course link to down in the description box below. Or you can make this easy pasta salad with Greek salad dressing and feta cheese. So the first thing I like to do is chop up all of my vegetables. So you want to grab your sharpest knife and I'm going to start by chopping an English cucumber. Now I love to use English cucumbers in this recipe because they are seedless and they're extra crunchy, but any type of cucumber will get the job done. Then I have one pint of cherry or grape tomatoes that you can either slice into halves or quarters depending on their size. The key with the tomatoes is to look for the most vibrant in season tomato you can get your hands on because that's the one that's going to be the most delicious. Then I'll chop up one bell pepper. Any color is going to work here. My favorite way to cut a bell pepper is to slice off the cheeks of the pepper, that's the sides, and then lay it down and slice off the bottom. Then I just cut it into strips, come back across the other way, and you've got yourself a chopped pepper. Then I have a half a cup of Kalamata olives that I'm going to slice in half. Make sure to buy pitted Kalamata olives because that is going to make your job a whole lot easier. And then finally, we need one half of a red onion diced up. Start by slicing off the stem side of the onion, then lay it flat side down, slice it in half lengthwise, peel off the papery outer skin, and then create a checkerboard by creating horizontal slices and then vertical slices. And then I come right down over the top and slice straight down. Okay, once I have all of my vegetables prepped, then I like to make the Greek salad dressing. And keep in mind that this salad dressing is super versatile. You could put it on a pasta salad like we're doing today, a potato salad, or really any type of green salad as well. So this is a recipe you're gonna wanna keep in your back pocket. Now when I'm making salad dressings, I love to use a mason jar because not only does it have the measurements on the side, but you can pop the lid on and shake it up right in the jar. So we're gonna make this Greek salad dressing by starting with one fat clove of crushed garlic. Then I have a half a teaspoon of Dijon mustard, one teaspoon of dried oregano, and if you just crush it in your fingers before you sprinkle it into the jar, that's going to help release some of those oils and bring out even more flavor. Then I have a quarter cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice, two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, a third of a cup of a good quality extra virgin olive oil, and then we'll season that with a half a teaspoon of sea salt and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. I'll pop on the lid and then just shake this up and set it aside. From here, you're gonna need one pound, 16 ounces, of some type of short pasta. I'm using a traditional fusilli pasta here, and I'm just gonna cook that according to the package instructions. So I'll bring a pot of salted water up to a boil, add the pasta in, let it go anywhere between six to eight minutes or until it's al dente, meaning it still has a little bit of a bite. Then I'm gonna drain it out and give it a quick rinse under cold water just to bring it down to room temperature. And then from here, all we have to do is bring it all together. So get out a nice big bowl and add the cooled pasta to the bowl. And then we're gonna add all of our veggie toppings. So I'm gonna add my chopped cucumbers, our tomatoes, the beautiful bell pepper, these bright Kalamata olives, the diced red onion, and then we're gonna finish it with some feta cheese. And if you've been watching, you know I always try to buy my feta cheese in block form and just crumble it myself because this is always going to offer a better flavor and a better texture. I'm gonna give that Greek salad dressing one last shake and then I'm gonna slowly drizzle it right over the top of the salad and gently toss to bring this all together. And keep in mind, I tend to keep my salads lightly dressed. So if you know you like a more heavily dressed salad, maybe you want a 1.5 times that recipe and have a little extra dressing. This is a light, bright, fresh, easy pasta salad that is packed with vegetables and super family friendly. So as always, I'm super excited for you to give it a try. And when you do, snap a picture and tag me on Instagram and on Facebook so I can see all of the clean and deliciousness you're whipping up in your very own kitchens. Mm. That is divine. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Danny Spees and I'll see you back here next time with some more clean and deliciousness. Cheers.